Well, look at you. Oh God, we've had some good times in there. <laughs> some good times. Four years. Four years of you caressing me, looking after me. Christ, I've given you some pounding. That's what she said. I don't know what to say. I, I really don't know what to say. It's, it's just so upsetting. It's uh, all those times you've been there for me. <laughs> all those times. Fuck. <sighs> so uh, this is it. This is how you leave me. Hang on. This is DPD, your delivery new chair has just arrived. Fucking yes, mate! See you later, loser! <laughs>Hey, you. That's what I'm talking about, mate. Huh? Ah, mate, this is nice. This is the chair that you've been waiting for. Look at you with the magnet. Have it. A magnet. It's got a magnet on it, mate. Look, height adjustments. Bish bash bosh. Let's go. And that's brilliant as well because when I'm because I'm a professional gamer, as you all know. All right. And you're sitting on like games for hours. It's it's quite tough, especially when you're playing first person shooters as well. Like you, there's some chairs out there that aren't the right height. And so you get this m line across your arm where the desk meets and all this sort of stuff. And it hurts, it doesn't hurt me because I, I just ramble everything. It's solid, it's comfortable. And I like the way it can rock back like that, mate. Rock back, lean back. If you don't want that, lock it underneath. Job done. Oh. Oh. Smells nice too. Look at you, huh? Look at you. Look at you, mate. Look at this little detail down here as well. Can you see that? Oof, oof. Kaiser 3. I mean, there's loads of models. They've got, they've partnered up with Rainbow Six, a Fanatic. Mate, it's, it, I'm telling you, this stuff is good. Mate, if you haven't heard of Andersy, where the hell have you been? Because, mate, I'm telling you, they are on another level. They're one of the biggest brands out there. For chairs, mate. <laughs> They know what they're doing. I put this together, it took me about 15 minutes, and it was like putting together a car. Like, the, the, like not just because it was complicated, I'm telling you, because of the, there's big ass bolts into big ass metal, and it's like hardcore, you know? Anyway, mate, hit the link below, it's in the description and the top comment, 6% off. Go and get one if you need a chair, okay? This is what you need. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Casper's site, mate. How the devil are you? Good, good. I'm good, because I got a brand new bloody seat, mate. Yes. And a seat. <laughs> Today we're going to be looking at a little channel called Goose Pimples. Okay, make sure you go to his channel, subscribe, and do the thing, mate, because he's on 79.8, uh, no, 79.4k. Be amazing to get him to 80k, all right? Anyway, this video is called 10 Scary Videos That Are Creepy, Weird, or Both. Without further ado, die dilly day. Let's do this. Shh. Number 10. Go on, Goose Pimples. Pack an extra pair. In what appears to be a haunted house with some serious poltergeist activity going on, Jack's Paranormal uploaded the following scary video on TikTok, which very quickly went viral for its terrifying nature. Mm -hmm. Take a look. Mate, I, 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 I don't know, man. I just fucking hate that shit. You can even see through the glass as well, okay? There's no one there! I would be out of that house in a shot, mate. I would be out of that house in an absolute shot. 
Oh shit! Now, does that mean there's two ghosts? Because, I mean, unless he's got go go gadget arms or something, he can't just, he can't be like, and then, and then do it, and it must be, it must have two ghosts, right? Or can they just do it with their mind? Well, they haven't got minds because they're ghosts. Well, have they got mind? I don't know, mate. Is there one or two? Through the glass, we can clearly see that there's no one on the other side of the door. So how the hell is the door handle moving so aggressively? I don't know. Motors, strings, a ghostly tantrum. No idea. But the video ends abruptly. <laughs> ghostly tantrum, I just thought, maybe it just doesn't know how to open up a door. Yeah? Be like, okay, it, it works somehow. It'll die, I'm telling you, it works somehow. And the dude decides to hightail it straight out of there to go and grab his brown spare pants. Wouldn't we all? Number nine. No, I wouldn't want his brown square pants, mate. Square pants, SpongeBob. Hair standing on end. We all know some TikTokers create the odd fake ghost video to bring more views to their other videos. Really? <laughs> but what happens when you find a video from someone who doesn't give a damn about TikTok? That's exactly what we found. A video uploaded by Kaylee2000. She's not your average TikToker fishing for internet fame. Nah. Kaylee only ever uploaded one single video, and mm. that was just to ask about something that happened to her. Something she's having a hard time trying to explain. Ooh. Take a look. It's something about Mary, okay? Did you have your boyfriend around last night? I don't know. Static. It was as if someone or something. But that's a lot of hair for static, mate. That is a lot of hair for static. What? Was holding on to that part of her hair until she snatched it away from it. Static electricity wouldn't just affect that small piece of hair and she couldn't be- That's a lot of hair, mate. Well, it could be, what it could be is one single strand of hair with like, maybe she's got hairspray and it's clumped together. Nah, I, I, don't I don't know. using a string either mate. because we can see her moving other parts of her hair over it. Plus, her oh, eyes yeah, yeah, yeah. clearly showed that she's genuinely baffled. Judging by the number of reported poltergeist activity in hospitals and what we can see in this clip, the chances of it being actual paranormal activity caught on camera are pretty high. That's weird, mate. What do you think about this one? Let us know in the comments. Wish my hair would flip and stay there. Flapping in front of my face all the time, mate. Number. I, I'm gonna get it cut. I'm gonna get it cut this week. We're gonna have it all sh shaved off. Great. It's getting physical. That's what Mary she said. Proctor <laughs> is pretty sure she lives in a haunted house, but no one believes her. So she decided to set up a few cameras around the house to prove her claims. Little did she know that these same cameras would serve as proof of something absolutely terrifying. Let's watch. We'll find out today. Oh God, no, mate, it's babies. Here we bloody go. Here we bloody go. Should I move my shit? I think I need to move my shit, don't I? Just in case. Oh, fuck it. Look at that doll, mate. Look at his black, beady, busted eyes. <laughs> what? <laughs> it what? At first, what? the family discarded the incident, thinking their daughter was simply overreacting. But after taking a closer look at her arm, they decided to check out the camera and zoom in to understand how she hurt herself. That's when they realized that the way their daughter's arm bent backwards oh, was God! not normal at all. Why have you got your fucking arrow there when it's on the other side, mate? Look! Look at the arm! Overreacting, but after taking a closer look at her arm, they decided to check out the camera and zoom in to understand how she hurt her. No, let me move my shit. Look, it's not on this side. I don't know why the arrow's on that side. It's on the left, mate. It's up here. Look at the arm. Herself. That's when they realized that the way their daughter's arm bent backwards. Oh, fucking hell! I don't like that shit, mate. I really don't like that. I really, really do not like that.
was not normal at all. However, this was not the only time they captured something creepy on camera. Here is one of the many scary videos they gathered over the years. Mate, if some fucking bastard ghost did that to my child, mate, I, don't, I would summon whatever it is, mate, and knock it their head out, okay? To prove their house is really haunted. Did what? you notice how the door slowly opened on its own just a few seconds before we heard a strange voice? According to Mary, this was captured when everyone was in bed. What's, what's this the all door about here? could down have been here, just air well, pressure doing its thing since the door wasn't even properly shut. But what could have caused that weird voice? We'd love to hear your thoughts. Let us know in the comments. Well, was it the dog? Number 7. Number Ghoul seven. Exodus some call it spirit, others call it soul. But do you really believe we all have one? And if we do, does it leave the body when we die? Hmm. Perhaps you can explain this damn right creepy footage then. Oh God. This dude is about to astro travel all over the shop, mate. Are we still alive? He's just a bloody astro traveling. It feels so amazing. I can see my house from here. <laughs> Bye, Ben! Bye! What appears to be a mere shadow of someone standing over the man from a distance soon becomes the weird sight of it leaving his body. Was it going for a pee break? Or was it <laughs> a pee break? That's weird, mate! At first, I just thought it was just going to be him doing two video recordings and just like you know, bringing the opacity of one video down and he just stands up and walks around. I thought, this is going to be fake as shit. But as he sits up and then he just floats into like, and it just floats up with no legs at all. That's weird. It leaving his body for good. Of course, the quality and length of the video raises some question marks about the clip's authenticity. Mm. But what are your And why thoughts? is he recording himself as well? Number Mah. six. Broadway Palace Spooks. Broadway Palace Spooks. YouTuber Poopinus uploaded Poopinus. the following video captured in his workplace. He recorded this clip from the CCTV at 12 a.m. as it unfolded, although the company he worked for tried to keep it a secret and the act ultimately cost him his job. Here is what he caught. Oh, mate, I've seen this, man. This is straight from fucking Ghostbusters, mate. I'm sure I've seen this. Have I seen this? Mate, that's straight from Ghostbusters. It's Casper. Oh, shit. It resembles a ghost. I haven't seen that, mate. That's Casper the friendly bloody spirit, mate. As it slowly passed the staircase, the supposed entity, which has the figure of a little child, slowly moved around until it vanished into thin air. <laughs> Like, how is that even a small child? That's not even a small child, mate. Where are you getting small child from? I love you, I love your stuff, but that ain't a small child. It's bloody Casper. The incident definitely made the man a believer in ghosts and the supernatural, although it could well be a bug on the camera lens. Still, the way it quickly darted out of there seems pretty weird. Yeah, that's weird. Number five. Number five. My turn. The next video was captured by a mother who usually records her fun time with her five month old baby. But one day, as the baby played with a toy, something pretty weird happened right in front of her eyes. Oh God, Have a look. baby ones again, man. Oh shit in hell. Okay, yeah, I've seen this one, mate. This is absolutely mental. It seems like something invisible had pulled the toy away from the baby. 
that after is, they like, uploaded what? the video of this very un it could be the parents with string and they're just trying to make a video but it, it, it really i don't know man usual incident some viewers asserted that a string must have pulled the toy an assertion the couple denied <laughs> but it, it flips in a weird way it doesn't it doesn't if it was a string that part that very small part would be pulled first it just seems like the whole thing just flips though right and said they only posted the video online to get some clarity on what might have happened. Did you spot any string in the baby's cart? We didn't. The toy isn't made of metal either for it to be pulled by a magnet on the other yeah, side of the bed. Yeah, that is weird, mate. The, oh, it's a super strong bloody baby. The baby's father said he thinks it could have been the spirit of his late great-grandmother who had recently passed away and just wanted to play with the baby. Which of these theories makes more sense to you? Mm. Let us know in the comment section. It could be, I tell you what it could be. The house could have been um, built on a graveyard. <laughs> Number four, haunting of CK. This house has been a hub of supernatural- this house, I can't see shit mate. Unexplainable instances for a long time. <laughs> the owner, of course, set up some cameras to capture these bizarre events after witnessing, firsthand, the mysterious happenings for over three years. He also created a YouTube channel named Haunting of CK, where he uploaded these videos hoping to find answers. But after catching a doll moving on camera, oh God. he knew he was up against some pretty sinister unseen forces that would eventually wreck him, one way or another. Mate, that fucking thing just stood up, you pretty see, much. You see, living in a haunted house doesn't only mess- Mate, that's fucking breakdancing! ...mess with you mentally, it can also rip holes in your pocket, making you spend extensively repairing things you have- n He's got a new under seat! He's checking out his under seat, up and down motion! No idea how they went wrong but no damage would be compared to the potential consequences nah. of what they were about to capture on camera one day. Take a look. Okay, so somebody just fell down and now it's moving. It's sliding along the cooker. I'm hearing banging now on the mic. Oh shit! Run! Why is it so green? Oh shit, mate! They're lighting that shit up. Better run. Your house is going down in flames, motherfucker. <laughs> it's not funny. Don't laugh. Mate. What? Okay, this could be a complete disaster now. Get down here ASAP. Fire. Da, 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 fire. Okay, listen. Um, that is going to some lengths to fake a video for views, mate. Putting a, a, a bloody fire in your own house. Yeah? I don't know. <laughs> That's not good. Look at all the smoke building up at the top of the ceiling. Oh, it's gone out. That is so damn dangerous. <laughs> Get a damn cloth, mate. Okay, it was it was gas. <laughs> Oh, 
Bloody As with hell. several poltergeist gimmicks, it begins by moving little pieces in place in and around the gas cooker area, setting up the stage for its grandest terror yet. Then it puts something combustible on the gas, turns it on, and even lights it up. The what? fire grows, almost engulfing the entire cooking area. Luckily, the house owner was only a few rooms away, close enough to smell the smoke and stop it before it- Where was your fire alarm, mate? Haven't most modern houses now, or even not even modern houses, got a fire alarm somewhere? It was too late. With all that was recorded in this house, what do you really think was responsible? Real poltergeist activity? Or is there another reasonable explanation for what we've seen? Let us know your thoughts. Bloody hell, that was a good bloody Number video. Three, it's scary but good. Door opening. During a house tour at the iconic Linden Hill, one of the most documented haunted homes in Mississippi, this song Mississippi, baby, come on! What weird incident was caught on camera when no one was expecting it? I promise you, from these cameras, uh, they actually will take a picture of whatever walks in front of it and send it to your phone. Do you have a phone? What? Yeah. <laughs> that was fun. What was that? It just opened. Yeah. It was fun. Yeah. Okay, so there's a door <laughs> opening and closing. Okay. I've always noticed that with um with people that are, are around ghosts and spirits a lot, they 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 tend to sort of like. Make it all sort of like a, oh, oh hello, beautiful, oh, oh, so good. I'd be like, Rose, get out of there now, mate! <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. Huh. I'm telling you, it's sometimes they do it, you're lucky, sometimes they don't. Lights? Lucky? <laughs> we walked in this room last yeah. week. This light, I leave on for the tour always. That's the dimness, because I want you to have the whole ambiance, right? It is what it is. Did that hat just move, or was it a light just make it look like it moved? Yeah. Um, it was just totally off. Like, it, you can't shut that one off. It's on the wall behind the crystal. So you literally have to, yeah. So that was fun. That was exciting, actually. That's gonna open up again. That. It's gonna Thank open you. up again. The tour guide was left speechless for a few seconds while trying to process what had just happened. Is it normal for a locked door to open on its own like that? Well, for a yeah. house built in 1841, Maybe it is. Mm. Number two. I don't know what the the rest of the bit was. Okay, the door opened, but what was the rest of the conversation? Was there anything else that was supposed to have gone on there? Late night ghosts. <laughs> Late night ghosts. Sershin, one of the hosts from the East Coast Radio, experienced something pretty terrifying during his late night show. But before we watch this creepy video, it's important to mention that according to them, nobody can get into the station without fingerprint authorization. Okay. And records show no one entering the studio complex that night, apart from Sershin himself. So, how on earth can we explain this? Mm. Jesus, mate. Maximum equalizers, please. Oh, mate, that would be spooky as shit. What are we looking at, mate? Who is that? Oh shit! Mate, I'm gonna move my because he's gonna he's gonna replay it. I mean, you saw it anyway, but he's gonna replay it. Is that it? Like... <sighs> After the lights and desk shut down under mysterious circumstances, he grabbed his phone to report the issue when out of the corner of his eye, 
he noticed a hooded figure walking past. That's just a normal bloke, that I think. That's not like a shadow bastard. That's just a normal bloke walking past. That alone wouldn't be weird if that area was easily accessed without a fingerprint authorization, which it wasn't. No one was supposed to be there. So much so that he could not find anyone else there throughout the rest of the night. The CCTV cameras also confirmed that no one else had entered the complex at mm. that time of the night. So what could he have seen? And why did the lights and desk shut down in the first place? That just seemed to me like a, a, a burglar. Like, you know, they, they, they can hack into these things, you know? The lights went out. Okay, let's turn off the lights. Right, let's hack into this. Let's, we're, we're in, you know? I don't know, mate. It just seemed like it was just a normal hood over him. Like, trying to hide. Hmm. I guess we'll never know. We'll never know. Number one. Apart from when he comes in the next day and there's nothing there because every single bit of equipment's gone. Japanese terror. Oh, shit. After hearing Hold on, you're right, nuts, mate. It's fucking some Japanese shit coming on here now. Strange noises coming from the top of their built-in wardrobe. These guys thought they were about to catch a cheeky rodent. But what they never expected was this paranormal punch in the face. Oh fuck, it's gonna be the grudge. Or the ring. What? what? Something or someone was staring at them from a hole in the ceiling. Maybe stuck in the afterlife, maybe living rent free in the attic. A face that was only caught for a few seconds sure oh. as hell scared them oh. witless. But like, hang on a second. Can we have a zoom in on that face or something, mate? Because that was freaky as shit. Bonus video. SS3 Paranormal. Today's bonus video was sent by our much loved viewer from the SS3 Paranormal YouTube channel. They've been watching our scary compilations pretty much since we started mm -hmm. and we're truly grateful for every second watched and every comment left on our videos. Okay. They kept sending in their videos of very light but genuine looking paranormal activity caught at the same house for a long time, which builds up the credibility of the video you are about to watch. But before we check out what they caught this time around, please endeavour to check out their channel and watch their other paranormal videos. We also want to send a special shout out to all our viewers for the love and support you've always shown to our channel. You guys are the absolute best and You're we love best. you right back. Now that the soppy moment is taken care of, <laughs> here's the clip that left them in shock. Yeah. Can you want me, please? I have got some ch 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 cherry rum. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I'm gonna... What? Oh, that was a horror doll. Would you have to touch it for it to go off? That's what she said. <laughs> That's right. Oh, my God. Was that right? That's the only thing we should... Hang on, let me move the shit... Oh, sorry. Like, like... That was right. I think someone was some cherry rock. What was that grunting? <laughs> What's that? What is this ASMR? Oh my god. <laughs> this video was recorded during a live stream with their audience, and it didn't look like much at first. But if you consider that the horror dolls in the background are only set off by touch, and this was indeed captured during a live stream, you'll understand the shock and seeming excitement on their faces. They were clearly the only ones in the room at the time, and the video was recorded live for their audience. So I, I saw this going off when she's chatted, but I didn't see these moves. Therefore, there's no apparent foul play going on here. Would you agree that this is some pretty raw paranormal activity? Hey. Uh, uh, how? I didn't see. Th I didn't see them move. <gasps> oh, okay. So they're talking. All oh, right. So they're activated. Uh, okay. So they speak. I heard that speaking. Right. Okay. I thought they moved. Right. I was. Okay. I saw that. Right. Okay. I get. I get you. I get you.
the merch at kespersite.com. Just Rambo it. There you go, mate. That was Goose Pimples. Another freaky deaky video from them, mate. Make sure you go to this channel, subscribe, and do the thing. Thank you so much for watching. Which was your freaky deakiest? Let me know in the comments. I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.